So if you've already purchased this, I've got three or four do's that you must do, and I've got a couple of don'ts. Thanks for joining us. My name is Brett with Anvil, where we turn research into results that matter. We're talking about the HBMV all-in-one color printer. We're gonna give the pros and the cons. I'm not gonna be too negative about this video, but I want you to know and get the real information, especially your setup. You wanna make sure that even throughout this process that you are correctly setting up this printer. While I'm not gonna say this is a bad buy, it's not a bad printer, but I did have some issues. The printer that I had had some real issues printing. It would stop printing. I had to go and unhook the entire printer multiple times just to get it to restart. And I had to wait for it to kick back in and start back up before I could try to print again. Another complaint was I continuously received error messages. It also was saying that the printer tray was not full of paper, even though it was. It was just all around frustrating for me. I don't like the fact also that this printer does not have a control panel. I mean, I'm not sure what they were thinking on this. Also, the, the flashing lights are annoying. If you get that issue, um, you know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You're not just buying a printer for this. You're buying a printing service. What comes with this, along with the HP Smart app, you have to pay consistently monthly over and over for your print cartridges and everything is a monthly subscription for this printer. I personally believe you're buying a service, a printing service that you'll have to continuously pay over and over because it's monitoring you. It's more than just about monitoring. We're trying to print here. And sometimes even that impedes the printing process. So if you've already purchased this and you're looking to go ahead and set your driver up, I've got three or four do's that you must do. And I've got a couple of don'ts. So let's start out with the do's first. What you need to do first, before you even start to hook up your printer, make sure you set up an account on HP's website. The account must be set up through the HP Smart, not HP's website, but the HP Smart website in order to set up your drivers. Please, please do this before you do anything else. You wanna make sure you set up your account before you start hooking up your printer. This is gonna make things much easier for you and less painful. The second thing you wanna do is purchase paper before you even set everything up, have the paper aside so when you're prompted to put in your paper once everything is being installed, you won't be stalled and have alignment issues because this is something that happened. You'll end up having to start the process over if you don't have paper to help you to align your, your test page. The third thing that you must do is make sure that your Windows or Mac computer is set up to a wireless network that is the same as the printer. If for some reason your computer does not have Bluetooth connectivity. We've got to be on the same networks in order to install correctly the HP Smart app. What you do not want to do for this printer is do not try to set up this printer through your phone. Just don't even try it. I, I tried it. It's, it. It doesn't work. You need the HP Smart app. Also, what you don't want to do is you do not want to leave the proximity of where the printer is. Follow through each instruction until you're finished, until you get your, that first page printed. I know this sounds funny, but just hang around. Don't go in the next room. Make sure it's set up because it's gonna give you some flashing lights. Um, you may have some issues. So we're going into installing this printer. Once you have plugged everything up, make sure that your computer or laptop is hooked to the internet and your Bluetooth is turned on. You gotta make sure that your Bluetooth is on. Once you do that, you're gonna go to the HP Smart application. You're gonna download that and then you're gonna set up your account. Like I said before, this account is used for you to be able to even use your printer. So you're gonna need this account, set up your username and password. Since the implementation of the HP Smart Things have gotten a little bit complex in terms of setting up your printer when you first get your printer home. And before the smart came along, you would typically just set up your printer through Wi-Fi, download all of your drivers. But nowadays, HP makes a model-specific driver that's nearly impossible to download from HP's website, unless you use this universal driver. Don't ask me why. Now, if this is your first time setting up or if you just signed on to the HP Smart app, this is gonna detect your printer if you are on the same Wi-Fi service. You'll just wanna follow the guided steps on your screen in order to complete the setup. If you're also using the wireless connection and the printer is not found, you'll need to follow these next steps I'm about to bring to you. So on your printer's touchscreen display, you wanna open up the wireless setup menu. Then you wanna select network settings 
and then select restore settings. If you do not have the touchscreen display, you wanna to go to restore Wi-Fi setup mode. This will restore those default settings by pressing the touchscreen on your printer. So now if your Bluetooth and wireless settings were set up correctly, you should be able to see the HP printer in the setup and you should be able to select it. And then from there, you can test your print and see what happens. There are probably gonna be some comments and some questions about this printer. So leave the comments below if you've already purchased this, if you've had knowledge of this already and issues that you, that you may be able to pass along to those who have purchased this printer. I'll be available to answer all questions or all comments that you leave below. And if you haven't gotten a chance to check out my review on the HP Pavilion laptop, I think it's a pretty good video on the HP laptop. I did some months ago, I did a review of it and you can see the pictures there. Check out that video.